Slides tonight. We have an update on a recent water line break in the lower Richland County community. It's having more impacts on residents than just changes in their water. News 19 Shelly Garzone joins us live from the location of that water main break tonight, which is off of Old Garner's Ferry Road. Shelly, what can you tell us? Yeah, JR, I'm currently standing on the side of the road here at Old Gardner's Ferry Parkway, where normally at this time the road is busy with people trying to come to and from work. As you can see behind me here tonight, the road is closed. Now that's due to a recent water pipe break that the city of Columbia has reported. I spoke with residents today who said they're having to take a detour to get home tonight. This is the first time I saw something on Facebook earlier this morning that there was a boil water advisory in the Hopkins area, but I didn't have any idea where. Ella McRant is one of many neighbors impacted by the recent water line break on Old Gardner's Ferry Road in the Lower Richland community. On Wednesday, Columbia Water reported the water line break, saying it could have potential impacts on water pressure in the area. Residents in the area were advised to boil their water before using it. We had a 12 inch water main break. Um, I don't know the exact cause of that, but we do have some aging infrastructure that we regularly repair. So our crews went out, made the repair. Service should be restored now. Benjamin Will is with Columbia Water and says changes in water pressure wasn't the only thing residents in the area may have faced. In order to make the repair on Old Gardner's Ferry and Mill Creek Parkway, the road had to be closed yesterday. We have our engineering staff out assessing that damage currently. Um, don't have a timeline for repairs. Uh, because we don't know the extent of the damage to the roadway. Anyone who uses this road can expect a detour that will take drivers two to three minutes out of their way. Shemi Bailey lives about five minutes away from the area being repaired. There was no information. Good thing they got the roads closed on because I'm, I'm seeing people coming. They'll, they'll come, like, then they'll get turned back around. But I think there should be, like, you know, more signs or something. Columbia Water says residents who might still be experiencing issues with their water should contact them. Folks who are still having issues can call our customer care center at 803-545-3300 or email us at customercare at columbiasc.gov. Now, as far as that boil water advisory, the Columbia, the Columbia Water is saying that is still in effect tonight. Reporting in Columbia, Shelly Garzone, News 19, WLTX. All right, Shelly, thank you so much. And if your water starts to taste a bit weird, DX says there could be a few culprits to blame. It could be from uh, the water sitting in your pipes for too long. Running your faucets at the same time should get rid of that. If your water is tasting like chemicals, DX says it could be chlorine that's added to the water by the supplier, but it is still okay to drink. And a rotten egg smell or a moldy taste, that could mean there's some bacteria somewhere in your sink or water heater. DX recommends boiling your water as a quick fix in an emergency like that. Now, you can also contact your water supplier if you have continued issues. And there are some things to keep in mind during a boil water advisory. We have information for you on your screen there. It includes things to do and not to do. Everything from taking a shower to washing clothes and doing the dishes. This afternoon